Hi everyone, welcome back to Library Time with Mrs. Poole. I have a magnificent book to share with you this week. One that is gonna come with an extra special treat if you stay all the way to the end of the video. I have a surprise guest joining us for the end of this story. So I'm excited and happy to share that with you. This story goes along with the special guest that I have to share with you. And that's the only other hint that I'll give you. You may have figured it out by now, or you'll definitely maybe figure it out when I show you the cover of this book. It is called Once Upon a Goat. It is written by Dan Richards and pictures are by Eric Barkley. And I just love the art. I love the story. I love everything about this book. It is very fun and it and it works perfectly with my special guest. So I was very excited to put this together for you. All right, are you ready? Here we go. I want to start out by showing you how they did the end pages and the title page. Did you notice how there's a big nibble bite taken out of the end page? Oh, the goat ate it. Oh, goats eat everything. <laughs> Once upon a goat. Once upon a time in a faraway kingdom, a king and queen wished for a child. Yes, but where would we put it? asked the king. Next to the vase on the hearth, naturally, replied the queen. Or beside the roses in the garden, the king added. Oh, yes, perfect, agreed the queen. One day, their fairy godmother stopped by for a visit. Tell me what you desire, she asked. We'd like to start a family, said the king. We're not particular, said the queen. Glowing skin, bright eyes, and hair like ocean waves should do. Hmm, said their fairy godmother. A boy would be great, added the king, but any kid will do. Of course, answered their fairy godmother. Look on your doorstep when the moon is full. At the next full moon, the king and queen ran to the door. Let it be a boy, said the king, with hair like ocean waves, said the queen. said the goat. Isn't he the cutest? <laughs> I wanted a baby, cried the queen. It is my fault, wailed the king. I said any kid would do, but I never meant this. Reluctantly, the king and queen brought the little beast into their home. What could go wrong? <laughs> Look on the bright side, said the king. We can still hold it like a baby. It has a goatee, replied the queen. We won't need to change its diapers, said the queen. That's disgusting, replied the king. At least it loves the royal roses, said the king. That's it, it has to go, commanded the queen. Poor little goat, <laughs> eating everything in sight. Oh, I guess we're better off now, the queen said sadly. A stand had to be taken for the roses, replied the king. Of course, said the queen. 
And there was little lonely goat down in the courtyard outside the castle. That night, it rained hard. It's not our fault we were given a goat, said the queen. Not our fault at all, added the king. And yet I wonder if we were right to send the little fellow away on such a blustery night. Clearly, he lacks the good sense to find shelter. I suppose he could come in just for a bit to dry off. He looks hungry, said the king. Maybe he could share a nibble or two from our meal. What's he eating? flowers on the table. <laughs> it's late. We can hardly send him away now, said the queen. He shall have to stay in our room for the night. It's only for the night, said the king. One night turned into weeks, and weeks into months. Before long, their fairy godmother returned for a visit. How is everything? Wonderful, replied the king and queen. Perfect. May I see the child? <laughs> Isn't he darling, said the king. A blessing, added the queen. You must be joking, said their fairy godmother. It's a goat. <laughs> yes, left on the doorstep when the moon was full, just like you said. Uh-oh, said their fairy godmother. I'll be back. Oh, dear. This is for the best, really. My sincere apologies for the misunderstanding. I'll just return the goat and that will be that. The baby's not happy. The goat looks sad. Oh no. Wait, said the queen. Perhaps there is an alternative, said the king at last. Yes, I see your point, said their fairy godmother. baby and the little goat hugging each other. <laughs> How do you think they're going to solve this problem? How are they going to get out of this mess? said the king, not exactly the family we wished for. No, replied the queen, better. 
the end. That is Once Upon a Goat. And I now have my special guest to introduce to you. Are you ready? Action. Hi, everyone. This is, whoops, can we get a little one? We gotta get this in first and then I can talk to you. This is our little foster goat. We are watching him until he finds his forever home, which we have a wonderful home for him. But I wanted to share him as our special guest this week. He is just a week old and we are feeding him bottles when he's hungry. So easy, he likes to drink them very fast. Slow down, little guy. So he is, um, we've had him for about a week and he is um, jumping around now and it's amazing how quickly he can do so many things at such a little teeny young age. But he's kind of like the goat in our story that we shared this week. So I thought that that would be a fun thing for you to meet him. Look, he's already almost done with his bottle. He's not so happy when the bottle comes to an end. Yeah, there might be a little drop left. Do you want a little drop? A little, a little drop? He's gonna talk for you? Oh, I know, it's over. I know, okay, ready? And then sometimes I'll even give him my finger to suck on because then he just likes the comfort of just having a little, a little something after his bottle. But this is our little guy. Huh, can you say anything? You wanna say something? What do you wanna say? What do you wanna say, huh? Oh my goodness, was that good? Was that good? So we foster sometimes, I think you met our kitty in my Library Lion video, and we fostered her before we adopted her. And then I think Sydney just wanted to get in on the scene. Sydney, are you? Well, Sydney's our golden retriever who was in another story, Can I Be Your Dog? So if you guys missed either of those stories and you wanna see some more animals, those are special guests in those books. All right, everyone. You wanna come say bye to everyone? Come here, lovey. Come here, ready? Say bye, everyone. It was so nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, it's a good boy. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Happy reading, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this week's story.